Okay, here it is. Okay, okay. Here's one of the complaints. Shit, it's from Tessa. She said Marianne was shoplifting, and that she had us shoplifting too. I remember going in to get things for her, but she said she'd already paid for them. Tessa also accused her of child neglect. What the hell? Is there any more to that? No, but I'll keep digging. is on the computer. R68 MISC. Here we go. Huh. Why is that here? Officer Eddie Brown. Hello, Officer Brown. This is Simone Pru from the Office of Child Services. Hello, Mrs. Pru. I'm calling about the Ronin family. Uh, I just wanted to let you know that we will be moving forward with the case. Uh, I see. Is there anyone additional we should interview while we're in the area? Yeah, uh, Samuel Kansky is a close friend of the family. Uh huh. K A N S. K Y. Great. 
Your caseworker, Sandy Black, will be arriving on March 5th. She'll drop by the station first thing in the morning. Mrs. Pru, how worried should we be? Mm, I really can't say until I have a full picture of the situation. Of course. Well, have a good afternoon, Mrs. Pru. You too, sir. I just listened to Brown chatting with OCS. He really did it. He reported her. What if he was just a go-between? He might not have had a choice. We need to keep digging. gonna repeat myself you're a goddamn hypocrite I said move it H hey <laughs> get off me rather spend the night here come on I said don't fucking touch me go on and consider yourselves lucky your family huh <laughs> you want to talk about family Eddie I guess family calls social services when you're having a hard time, huh? And then breaks the law to gloat that you're gonna lose your fucking kids. It's your fault she lost it, Eddie. You, and Tessa, and everyone else in this goddamn town. Okay. Let's talk. The winter before your mother's death was hard. Delos Crossing was snowed in for months. Most roads were closed and plane supplies were scarce. Everyone was struggling. Especially Marianne. Yeah. She was always just scraping by. And that winter left nothing to scrape up. Even if locals had found time to help her. You know, I'm, I'm not sure your mother would have accepted. You're saying Tessa reported her mother because she was having supply issues? Tessa came to me because she was honestly concerned. <sighs> right. I was legally required to report Tessa's complaint, even if I didn't agree. So you took her word for it and called child services? Failure to provide adequate food? Lack of appropriate supervision? Inattention to a child's psychological care? Like it or not, she had a case. What? That's bullshit. 
Just following the law then. Right. Is that why you came over that day? The day she died? To warn her about social services? <sighs> she loved you two so damn much. She deserved a chance. I... I didn't see it coming. She... I don't know. Right there, she... Must have decided it was over. I thought always telling each other the truth was our number one rule. Still is, little moose. And yet you still lied. I didn't want you two putting yourselves through unnecessary hurt. But you're adults and that was your choice to make. I'm, I'm truly sorry. Thank you, Uncle. Just like that, huh? Must be nice to have a daughter who lets you off the hook that easy. Eddie, you keep trying to point your finger at Tessa, but you have to take responsibility for your part in our mother's death. I've asked myself over and over for the past 10 years what I could have done different. I know I made a big mistake with you two here. And you've got every right to be angry. Being a father, well, it's a pretty tough job. I've tried my best. And I'd like to try my best with you too, Tyler. If you want it. I'm open to getting there, but it's gonna take some time before we're a big, happy family. I respect that. It's hard work rebuilding trust, but you've got a place here whenever you need it. Group hug? Uh, no. Absolutely not. Alright, I'm really gonna have to kick you out now. No rest for the wicked, huh? <laughs> oh yeah. I'm as wicked as it gets. I'll see you both later. Best you be going, yeah. son. Chin up, stand tall. At a girl. <sighs> I could use a beer. It's noon. Which means that by the time I drink one, it'll be afternoon. I can't be expected to enjoy my pulled pork sandwich without a cold one. Are we still on for lunch tomorrow? Yeah, sure. I'll text you. Allison. What? You feel like shit. How can you tell? Because I feel like shit. What are we gonna do about Tessa? Nothing. Look, we're not gonna do anything. That's enough, Tyler. Talk to Tessa? Why? What are you looking for? What are you expecting her to say? I thought she loved us. 
Really? Chief Brown, is it true? Is she... Oh my god. Ch children, I... Tessa. Tessa, you need to leave. Come on, kids. Everything is going to be alright, okay? You're going to be okay, I promise. Go home. You can't be here right now. Where is everybody? Tessa's gotta be around somewhere. I think I'm hearing something. Well, at least we know the entire world didn't vanish. But given who is here, we can't count out the rapture quite yet. I need to take a breather. I'm gonna do a bit of shopping. You look for Tessa, okay? On it. I stopped to take a leak, and just as I was finishing up, what do I see? A big old bull moose staring me down. So, what do I do? I grabbed my odd six from the trunk and set my sights. And you shot it? Yes, sir. Wait, you said... Hey, guys. I hope I'm not interrupting. Not at all. Oh, hey, Tyler Ronan. Huh. We keep bumping into each other, don't we? What were you guys talking about? I don't think you'd be interested. You two just can't stay away, huh? Unfortunately. We're looking for Tessa again. Well, she took off about half an hour ago. Sorry. Do you know if she'll be back soon? I don't know if she's even coming back. No one tells me anything. How about Tom? He busy? He's been in the office all morning, so who knows. But it's Tom, so it's probably safe to interrupt him. Doing some shopping? Yep. Just the essentials. Well, don't let me stop you. So, uh, I heard you were shooting moose outside your permit area. Not really any of your business now, is it? Come on. I'm not gonna report you, but it's a shitty thing to do. I think it's time to finish up your shopping and move on, brother. Yeah. I'll do that. enough signatures. It should have at least been enough to stall construction while we figure out our next move. Well, why don't we schedule a meeting with the Alaska Wildlife Foundation? Try to get their support. Look, Harold, I have to go. We can pick this up at the meeting. I should be on my way over soon. Hello, Tyler. Uh, can I help you? Hey, I hope this isn't a bad time, but is Tessa around today? She had to step out for a family matter. This wouldn't be something I could help with, would it? Yeah, maybe, actually. Uh, we were over at the police station and we took a look at Marianne's case file. <clears throat> okay. Why did Tessa come to the police station that night? She was looking for you too. To make sure you were okay. When she heard what happened, she was a mess. 
How exactly did she hear about it so fast? Can't remember who called, but you know how it is. No news travels faster than a secret. Everyone knew five minutes after Brown was on his way out. Tessa reported Marianne to social services. Did you know? Vaguely. But I didn't get involved. I, I didn't think I really had anything to add. You never thought to mention it? Well, no. I'm not sure how a thing like that would have come up. And I didn't want to rub salt in any wounds. Huh. How about when we were in the store yesterday asking about it point blank? That was between you and Tessa. I try to stay out of other people's affairs. Okay. Thank you. Look, I'm sorry if you felt... resistance from people around here. To put it mildly... Allison, you know this better than anybody. But your mother's death left a scar on this community. Now, I won't claim we went through anything close to what you did, but it was a cruel reminder of the limits of trust. Well, if we want to get past the limits of trust, we all need to face what happened, which means being completely honest about it. We all want to find peace, kids. It's just harder for some people to talk about the past. Now, you let me know if you have any other questions, okay? Hey. Yes? You said I should remind you not to be late for your meeting, so... Don't be late. Uh, yep, yep, I'll be on my way in a minute. Uh, so, kids, was there, uh... Anything else you two wanted to talk to me about? Did you ever hear any rumors about our mother? Like, who our father might have been? Mm, I'm not exactly a rumor monger. Your mother was close to a few men, but whether they were your father, I couldn't say. But look, I... Oh, gosh. Uh, I'm sorry. I really have to go. Uh, Michael, uh, could you finish up the storage room and then just uh, close up? Hey, sure thing, boss man. See you later. You two want to help a brother out, spend the afternoon here working for free? Why not? We came here to talk to Tessa and she's not here. Uh... She, she's at the cemetery, uh, visiting her parents. Oh. Hey, tell you what. Why don't you guys help me close the store, and then we can drive over together. I've been meaning to pay my uncle a visit. Can't we just wait for her to come back here? I... I'm not really excited about going there. Allison, we don't have to visit her grave. I'm gonna start working in the storage room. Tyler, join me when you're done. Sure thing. Just give me a sec. Alright, I already counted there, but I just need you to double check a few things. It's not complicated. I've got this in the back. Oh yeah? These are just that good, huh? I mean, it's just counting stuff on a shelf, right? Yeah, let's start with an easy one, all right? Go to the back of the room and uh, tell me how many cans of Molto Bene brand tomato sauce we have left. Aye, aye. Is that the mangy muskrat? I wonder what's in that box. Cheddar dip? Ugh, yuck. <laughs> Your sister loves that shit. She eats it straight out of the jar. Ugh, God. I wonder what's in that box. I wonder what's in that box.
Uh, no, that's not it. Why am I standing here looking at this? You know, when you think about it, glass is really just tortured sand. Huh. Have you been sniffing the spray paint, Tyler? Uh, <laughs> Why are you laughing? I, I was just remembering the time Allison and I opened up a bag of flour and threw it at each other's faces. We called it a, a summer snow fight. We made a gigantic mess. Marianne was pissed. I wonder what's in that box. Hold on, let me count this. There's 14 cans of Malta Bene tomato sauce. Okay, sounds about right. Man, I'm so good at this. That was easy. I need you to count the bottles of bleach for me. On it. Oh. I drank this at a party once. It did not end well. Oh, any good stories? I mean, probably. But nothing I remember really makes sense, so... Six? Alright. Not bad, Tyler. Not bad. Careful. They might give me your job. Oh, you can have it. Uh, what's next? Come here and help me with this. <laughs> Why are you laughing? I I was just remembering the time Allison and I opened up a bag of flour and threw it at each other's faces. We called it a, a summer snow fight. We made a gigantic mess. Marianne was pissed. Hey, you remember the ad for this? What was their slogan again? Huh, something poetic about time travel and life being weird, I think. What's up? I need your opinion on this masterpiece. <laughs> Is that supposed to be me? Yeah, come on, look at the hair. Nailed it, right? Uh, there might be a little room for improvement. <laughs> Ouch. Hey, I just said a little. That means it's mostly good. Man, I pour my heart out into this, and this is what I get? Cold, Tyler. Ice cold. So, this is what you're up to while I was out there doing your work? What can I say? I'm a multitasker. Hey, multitasker? I think you made a mistake here. Total amount should be 36. Oh, how dare you, sir? What? <laughs> I just don't want you to get in trouble. Yeah, you're right. You know, I'm off my game today. Alright, anything else you wanted me to check? Yep, one last thing and then we should be free from this purgatory. Hit me. Can you count how many plushies we have in that box over there? Okay. You found the box of plushies? This entire room is full of boxes. It's gonna take me a while. It's way in the back, not too far from the restaurant door. So... Uh, you've got about 11 left in that box. 
Did I get it wrong? Michael? Ow! Hey, sorry. It was just too tempting. <laughs> Lesson number one in the ancient art of inventory. Never let your guard down. You have no idea what you just started. First one with three confirmed hits wins. Cool? <laughs> gotcha! Oh, damn it. One more hit and you're out. Prepare to feel my wrath. <laughs> God, you're corny. Oh, come on. Is that all you got, Ronan? Just you wait. I've got a strategy. Oh, yeah? We'll see. Damn it. So, is this a typical work day for you? Nah, I usually don't have such good looking company back here. Oh, so I'm good looking company, huh? Yeah, well, don't let it get to your head. I'm still destroying you. Hey, is it cool that we're throwing these toys around? Aren't you guys gonna, like, sell them? Nah, supplier made a typo on Vecchi. Can't sell any of them. Cool. No harm, no foul, then. Oh, damn it! <laughs> gotcha! <laughs> Man, you're good. <laughs> I told you not to doubt the golden arm. <laughs> well, we'll never make that mistake again. Okay. I, I need to finish this inventory thing real quick. Your sister's probably done already. Here. Let's hit the bitch's grotto. The what? Fancy name for the couch where Allison and I sit during breaks. Ah. Alright. Cool. Let me see what you've done with the place. <sighs> Is that a picture of a priest with little hearts? Yeah, that's the hot priest who hosts Bible study with Tessa. And for the record, that was Allison's doing. She had a crush on him for ages, but he is very, very hot. Shit, yeah. I remember him from when we were kids. That's Father Batista. Yeah. He's got that silver fox thing go So, you think Tom's got the chops to be the mayor of Delos Crossing? Uh, I don't know. The guy's sweet, and not entirely incompetent. Is this Chief Brown? Yeah. Are you guys related, or...? Nah, but same clan. So, what's your take on him? He's a pretty alright guy, all things considered. All things considered? Like, with him being a cop and all... I mean, it's good to see someone from the clan getting shit done. And he really cares about the community. We need someone like him on top. And... I'm done. I gotta tell you, it's so weird to finally meet the other Ronin. You mean the OG Ronin? I was born first, you know? Is that so? I thought Allison said she was. Well, our mother never actually told us, but it was me. So, why is it so weird to meet me? Because I just heard Allison tell your story so many times. She told me everything about you. Fireweed, your transition. I hope that's okay, by the way. Yeah, it's fine. She asked me first. <laughs> yeah, figures. That lady is thorough and she loves you like 
crazy. I know. So, yeah, uh, you were probably the first person to know about it other than Allison. I'm glad he trusted me. And it's great to finally get to know you in the flesh. You're pretty all right. <laughs> but you're not too bad yourself. I try not to be. Especially around guys I'm trying to impress. So I wasn't blowing smoke when I said you should move to Juno with us. I know. I... I've got a community there. It could be yours too. Hmm. Fitting in. There's a concept. You have no idea how life-saving a chosen family can be. It pulled me out of the dark more times than I can count. I hear you. Hey, can I ask you a question? Of course. Shoot. Why do you care so much if I move to Juno? <laughs> Look, like I said, I, I want to get to know you. Because I'm just that fascinating, huh? Honestly, yeah. You might be one of a kind, Tyler Ronan. Well, golly gee, Michael. I think you're swell too. You're the cat's pajamas. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. I've got way better compliments than that. But I can't open with my best, right? It's cool. So, I'll get more of those if I get to know you better? For sure. If that's something you'd be interested in. I might be. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, hey. I've been standing at that counter for an hour waiting for you two dum-dums to come back. Are you guys ready to go? Mm-hmm. I think we've done about as much damage as we can back here. Yeah. Let's 